From least to most, here are five platinum trophies that are so hard I'm afraid to get them. And at the number one spot is a game so hard that only 13 people in the world have ever gotten it. At the number five spot is a game called Splasher. Now this game looks a lot like Super Meat Boy, and that's a big reason why I'm so afraid of it. PSN Profiles has this as a 9 out of 10 difficulty and says it would take 50 hours. The reason I have this so far down on the list is because I'm experienced with platformers and there's another game ahead of the list that I cannot put this one above. At the number four spot is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now I have this so low because I am really good at first person shooters. I've been playing them my whole life basically. Now I actually have 59% of the trophies on this game already. I've completed the campaign on veteran but it didn't fulfill the requirements to complete the campaign on realistic which obviously sucks i have to do this and from what i know and from what i heard realistic difficulty is like a one shot kill and then this trophy personal decorator only 0.1 percent of players have earned this and i don't even know all the details that goes into getting this trophy but i just know it's super tedious and obviously that number 0.1 percent speaks for itself if i ever do this i will do it on a stream and not a video just because i have most of the trophies already so yeah hopefully one day we'll get around to it but i don't know and some people do ask me where i stream is here on this channel on youtube not on twitch or anything else but the number three spot is devil may cry 5 so i've heard about this game i've played dmc devil may cry but that's about it with this series i haven't played any of the other devil may cry games but i do have the other ones on my playstation but i'm scared of this game because like i said i'm inexperienced with it and it's also super hard playstation trophies.org has it as a 10 out of 10 difficulty psn profiles has it as an 8 out of 10 so i don't know which one to trust more but regardless it's still very very difficult and then power picks has it as a 10 out of 10 as well so two out of the three websites has it as a 10 out of 10 and from what i heard the hardest thing about this game is getting the s rank on the hardest difficulty for every mission which means i think if i'm not mistaken i think you have to get through every mission without taking damage which that sounds ridiculous to me and obviously like if you take damage you got to go back to the beginning or something like that i haven't played the game so i don't really know for sure but that's what i've heard i do want to get this one day though i have to play through the older devil may cry games first though because like i said i haven't played any of them but if i do happen to go for this platinum trophy i will make a video on it but first i want to get to the older games now at the number two spot is super meat boy the reason i have splasher all the way at five and super meat boy all the way at two because according to the trophy guide super meat boy is going to take double the time that splasher does and then with super meat boy the hardest part about that game is you have to do no death runs where you just don't die at all now i actually said that this was going to be my next big platinum video which it is but it's going to take me super long to create which is why i'm making videos like these which are shorter and i can keep the channel active while i work on that one but honestly i am terrified to play this you guys were telling me yo don't even do this yo like good luck you're gonna need it this is like super difficult dudes were saying that this is harder than crash 4 which i was able to platinum if you didn't know that and if this is harder than crash 4 i don't know what i would do because that was so hard bro i don't even know what i would do man i'm so scared bro <laughs> Oh, man. And this one is a 10 out of 10 compared to Splasher, which was a 9 out of 10. So, yeah, this has to be harder. And at the number one spot, I don't think this is going to be a surprise to anyone, but Crypt of the Necro Dancer. There are videos that explain how hard this game actually is, so I'm not going to go in depth about it. But it's a 10 out of 10, and it's going to take around 900 hours at least to get this. You think I want to put 900 hours into the making of a video? Absolutely not. I already put hundreds of hours into some of these videos that you guys see, and I don't want to do even more than that. Today's April 10th, and the last time someone actually got the platinum for this game was on February 7th so that's ridiculous that's literally two months that's how hard this actually is 13 people in the world have it total now it's not the most popular game obviously right but still only 13 people have it it's ridiculous one time i was on reddit and i saw somebody talking about this game and how they actually got platinum for it some dude was asking for advice on how to get the platinum for this game and the guy's advice was just to not do it at all i think i'll follow that man's advice now i haven't actually went for these platinum trophies yet but here's a video where i spoke about my five most painful platinum trophies of all time